so we are back i'm so excited to be back with you guys as you know we're going to be here every single wednesday postal the video will be uploaded by 8 a.m eastern time so look out for it make sure you put your notification on i know instagram sometimes those notifications don't work so make sure you hit that bell make sure you like these videos okay i gotta get back into the algorithm because i've been out of it for a while so make sure you like, 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 so we can get people watching these videos again and things like that. So make sure you like, make sure you comment. You guys, y'all know I comment. Y'all know I talk back to you. This is a safe place. I ain't gonna let nobody attack you because they come for you. They come for me. We we throw bowls, okay, like up in here. So with that being said, guys, make sure you contribute to that. So today we're going to be talking about the herpes community. Community. herpes community one-on-one -on -one, kind of what to do when you're in the community how to deal with the community how to just flourish know what to say know what not to say the do's and don'ts in the herpes community because i think this is something that we do not talk about every community got their their ways okay because our community got our ways but we need to know how to navigate through it because a lot of us get into this community and looking for like ongoing support and things like that a lot of us are super emotional a lot of us deal with other mental disorders or things like that as many people who are in just really, really bad places. Some people end up getting this just from rape, molestation, abuse. Um, some people got this out of relationships where they thought this was going to be a successful relationship. Marriages, you know, engagements, things like that. So you got to realize that this could be really, really hard on them. So they're not just bringing their status to you. They're bringing their life to you. They're bringing to all their situations. They're trusting you. They're looking to you as a, a, a support system. They're looking to you as, dang, they're only probably their only friend. They only person who know they have it. You're the only one they said something to. So I really want you guys to take that in consideration in this community, but also being mindful on how to manage and how to deal with it. So I will be looking up and down because I wrote seven steps on how to deal with the herpes community, okay? So number one is love on your activists. Love on your herpes activists, okay? Love on us because at the end of the day, guys, it took us a whole lot to get to this place of accepting our own status to get to a place to want to serve you. So please, if your herpes uh, uh, activists, whatever group you in, show them some love. Give them a tip. Send them some money. Support their uh, the, the webinars. They do products. Anything that they do because at the end of the day, it's not for themselves. It is for you. They have paid attention and seen what you needed, seen what you are... Are, are struggling with seeing your pain points and they want to offer it so don't think one minute that they're doing it for themselves or they're doing it for their own gain because baby they are not they are not they're not doing it for their own gain they're doing it to serve you at 100 so make sure you love all your herpes activists even if they're out in the forefront like me and so many others or they're in the background they got private groups still supporting them guys because at the end of the day they are here for you they it's not easy doing this this is not easy work at all it takes a toll on the brain it takes a toll on emotion and sometimes it can take a toll in your private life because you're trying to balance trying to serve people um and understanding where they're coming from so please number one love on your herpes activists in any way that you can all right number two is everyone is in different stages everybody's in different stages some people are just finding out their diagnosis and they are frantic they are freaking out they feeling suicidal their emotions are all over the place they feeling depressed they feeling ashamed they feeling embarrassed if you are in the second stage where you're not feeling that anymore don't make them feel less than your words matter okay your words matter don't tell her oh you'll get over over time don't say that say i understand exactly where you're coming from and this is how i got through it okay y'all have to understand we need help through the process we don't need somebody patting us on the back that it'll be all right no i don't understand how it's going to be all right so tell me how it's going to be all right share your story with them share with them when you were in the same place they were in because half the time they're not going to believe that you've been there because they don't see you in that place so please share your story with them and also steps to help them get through it too all right remember everybody's in a different space and support them in that and if you, even if you see somebody in a different stage that you want to be in reach out to them hey did you how did you get there how did you get your confidence how did you disclose ask questions guys because i'm telling you I, one thing i do love about our community is that we're willing to help each other so if you ask you will get an answer okay so make sure you ask a bunch of questions don't be ashamed especially if you're in support groups even if you find me you're like, please, I'm kind of nervous on 
asking a question here. Shake the nervousness and get what you need. But at least I may not want to post it. I want to talk to you more. Then book a session with me, guys. That link in the bio so you can do that. Or, hey, Belize, I'm in a support group, but I'm kind of nervous. Okay, then ask somebody, hey, can you DM me? Or can I DM you? Or things like that if you want to be more private about what you got going on. I'm telling you, people are willing to help you, but you got to open your mouth, okay? I love you dearly, but you got to open your mouth. Closed mouth, do not get fed, all right? Number three, we have to... We have to realize people still have opinions, okay? We have to understand people still have opinions. Remember, we do not know each other. We are strangers. The only thing that makes us common is herpes. Outside of that, you don't know that person. That person is not your friend. Y'all don't know each other from dirt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know anything about each other. So please don't get into a space where you feel like uh, she shouldn't say what she said. She said based off what you're saying. Or he's saying his opinion based off what you share. So I'm a strong believer in when you share a story or you're sharing something, be be open to people questioning you or asking for more information so they can give you an opinion. Or they may give you an opinion. You was like, how did you get that? But that's how they comprehend. So don't take offense all the time when people say something because at the end of the day, everybody has a right to opinion. You shared it, they have opinion to it. So be a uh, be be mindful that people are just giving their opinion based off the information you give. Some people are triggered off your your story. Some people are triggered off of what you do or what you say or things like that. And don't take offense. Don't get in your feelings. This is not the place that we need to argue and bicker and cussing and fussing at each other. What is going to do? <laughs> it ain't going to do anything. It's just somebody else's story. And you got to understand, you don't understand what everybody's triggers there. And I'll use this for example. Like just say if somebody come on and say, I didn't disclose to my partner and I'm so scared to disclose now, or I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have sex and I'm never going to disclose. That's triggering it to many people in the community because many people have this because they did not get, did not, because nobody disclosed to them. So I really want you to understand when you say things like that, it's okay to say whatever you want to say, but just know people are going to have opinions. And you can't get mad about their opinions. Just say, you know what? Let me tell you why I want to do this. And most of it is rooted in fear. And you got to be honest and say, man, I tried it. I'm scared. And people want to say, look, I'm going to tell you it's hard, but let me help you figure out how to do it. And you'll never know how somebody can support you through it. But don't get upset. We all have opinions. We are all from a different cloth. We all have different backgrounds. We all got different triggers. So please keep the emotions at bay and really understand that everybody have a voice, okay? Number four, take a mental break, okay, guys? It's okay with, like, leaving the group. It's okay with unfollowing a, a activists because you don't want to see any posts. It's okay to just disappear and don't want to deal with the community. It's nothing wrong with that. As, us as activists are not bothered. We are not bothered by it, and I love you dearly. Some people won't even notice that you're gone because they're all in their own business and their own drama that they don't understand that you're gone. But my whole thing is, there's nothing wrong with taking a mental break. Sometimes, especially I can notice in my support group, when people first come in, it gets really into a very, very negative vibe for a little bit, okay? Because everybody's in a place of disclosing their, dis they're sharing their disclosures. Well, they're sharing their stories and they're at a really low place. And that's the first stage where, you know, it's just really, really low, okay? And it changes just the energy of the group for a while until that person get to the next stage or second, third stage where they're learning that I'm not by myself. I'm learning that I have no reason to be ashamed. All those things, it takes some time. So when people come in, they're in that place, you can do two things. You can support them and help them through, or you can take a mental break and just leave and come back when you're ready. It's nothing wrong with leaving. Sometimes you have to understand that you got other things going on other than herpes, and it could just really be too much just to see other things that's going on. So it's nothing wrong. Take the mental break when you need it, all right? Number five. Add your two cents, baby. Your two cents matter. You remember that you have taken the time to research just like everybody else. You have, you got a doctor who shared information. You may know somebody who had the virus. You have your own experiences. Share your two cents because at the end of the day, it matters. It matters. Most of what I know today is because somebody gave their two cents, baby. And now I am sharing it with other people and I've applied it to my own life. So I really want you to use your, you know, give your two cents. Don't be scared to have an opinion. Don't be scared to, um, to correct people on information or share information because at the end of the day, in our community, the whole purpose is to cycle the information around and to support each other as much as we can. But if you ain't giving your two cents, you leaving stuff out, baby. Come on now, share the information because we are really appreciating you don't know who you can help, okay? Number six, build relationships, guys. It's so many people in these groups. You never know who you can meet. 
ask in a group who who lives in my area, whatever. And you'll be surprised. Y'all can go out to lunch. Y'all can meet each other, things like that. You know, being safe for COVID. But at the end of things like that, y'all can meet each other. Y'all can build friendships. You may just build a new friendship. You may get in a relationship. You just never know. But it's very vital that you're just, you don't realize... I don't want you to just be in a group just for herpes alone because at the end of the day, it's so many of us, we're going to share so much more than that. You just don't know how these people can truly change your life, not just with your status, but if with your job, you know, relationships, um, anything that you may want to know, you just never know. These people are very, very talented, doing great things in the community great jobs, things like that. So you never know. So take the time, build relationships. You talk to somebody, they don't DM you, check on them, things like that. Ask if you, hey, you want to meet? Do you want to do a, a virtual uh, meet and greet with each other that we just really get to know each other? I'm telling you, I met so many great people in this community that I am like this with, tight with, check on, all those things like that because of they even have developed friendships because of just taking the time to build relationships with people or, you know, seeing that they want to build a relationship and me taking that opportunity to do the same. So build relationships. Number seven, grow up. Okay. Grow up. You should not be in the same place that you were when you first came in a group after a year. It doesn't make sense. I love you dearly. If that's the case, then it's something about you you need to do. That means you probably need to talk to that activist one-on-one, -on -one, especially if they got one-on-one -on -one sessions or things like that. You need to do therapy or something because clearly there's no reason you should be among people who are giving so much information and so much support and still be in the same place. If you're in the same place, that means you're not doing something or you're lacking something. So my thing is, if you haven't been in a group or you've been watching the active for a year and nothing has changed, you need to figure out why. You need to figure out why. You must be growing. There's no point of being around people who have what you have and not learning something and not being better, okay? So those are the tips that I want to give you guys on herpes, community one-on-one, -on -one, how to deal with it, things like that. I want to say them again. So number one, love on your activists. Number two, everyone have, is in a different stage. Number three, we all have an opinion or we still have opinions. Number four, take a mental break. Number five, add your two cents. Number six, build relationships. And number seven, grow up. I'm telling you guys, I know this is going to help. Please share this video. Please like it. Comment below. Let me know if this is helpful to you or, you know, hey, I didn't think anything about that. Or, oh, believe you should have added this. Let me know what I should have added. And I'm like, you know what? That'd have been good. I I always like two cents so give me your two cents um but please let me know how you felt about this video share it like it comment below um guys all the information is going to be below i'm going to also put the tips below so well the one-on-one -on -one tips below so you guys can see it and kind of go back to it as you are going through your journey in the herpes community also i want you guys to know if you are looking for support i mean if you're looking for any support any support. I got your back. I do one-on-ones, then book you a one-on-one -on -one with me, guys. You got a 30-minute or a hour session with me, 75 to 150. That is all. You book what you need. We go from there. That link will be below. Also, remember that we have webinars coming up in February. So, February 12th is say it out loud so you learn how to say herpes out loud so you get to a place where you kill that shame kill that embarrassment and really get to a place where you can build your confidence and that that word do not bother you no more and then that that's on the 12th and then february 27th we're going to be doing confidence is my problem so if you're struggling with your confidence like beliefs i've been trying to do everything and it's still not getting there i don't know what to do then i have you then that's another webinar you can be a part of both webinars are 55 you can purchase tickets below so share that with somebody that you know that could truly be helpful to them that's down there and if you need products you know what to do guys i'm the product girl so make sure if you need any products for your outbreaks been looking for them then they're below know that all uh packaging is discreet also know it's kids friendly as well all right just to let you guys know that if you were asking me any of that that is also some information or tidbits that i want to give you so i love you i appreciate you and i will see you next week Deuce.